Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Math grade 10, algebra 2. We are in model 3, uh, lesson 4. Today we want to learn solve quadratic equations by factory. Solve quadratic equations by factory. So in this lesson, we want to learn solve quadratic equations by factoring and solve quadratic equations by factoring special products. And we have four new words in this lesson. We have factored form and difference of squares and perfect square and uh, trinomials. So I want to from all to write the title in your uh, notebook in a new page. The first idea in this lesson, we want to learn solving quadratic equation, equations by factoring, by factoring. The new word, the factored form. What's the meaning of the factored form? The factored form of a quadratic equation is, as you see, we have the product of terms equals zero. When you see a product of terms like a multiply between parentheses x minus b, multiply between parentheses x minus q, etc. equals zero, the name of this form, the factored form, the factored form. So please, I want from all to write uh, the define of the new word here. Where a doesn't equal zero, continue to hear this. In the previous equation, uh, we have variables. And we have a b, b and the q. b and the, and the q represent the x intercepts. What's the meaning of the x intercepts? The intersecting point between the quadratic uh, equation and the x-axis and the x-axis or the solutions of the quadratic equation or the roots. Listen to this example. For example, if we have x squared, when you see in the equation, the degree will be two, the degree will be two means we have quadratic equation. We have quadratic equation x squared minus 2x minus 3 can be factored or can be uh, written in the factored form. Open uh, two parentheses, open two parentheses, and x squared means x times x, x squared means x times x. Then we want two numbers. The sum of them will be negative 2, and the product of them will be negative 3. What is the numbers? Negative 3 and plus 1. Why? Because negative 3 plus 1 will be negative 2, and negative 3 times 1 will be uh, negative 3. Then we can solve the equation. Then we can solve the equation. So write this example, please. We have here some important uh, issues for the factoring. Using the distributive property. If you have a multiply between parentheses, if you have x multiply between parentheses a plus b, we can use the distributive x times a will be ax, and x times b will be bx. And factoring trinomials 
when we have x squared plus bx plus c means quadratic equation, we can factoring open parentheses, x squared means x times x. Then we want two numbers like m and b. The sum of them, of them equal b. And the product of them equal c. m plus b equal b and m times b equal c. So also please uh, write the issues here, the important issues. What's the meaning of the zero product property? Zero product property. For any real numbers like A and V, if A times V equals zero, then either A equals zero or V equals zero, or both A and V equals zero. For example, if we have X minus two, times x plus 4 equals 0, then x minus 2 equals 0, or x plus 4 equals 0, or both, or both equal 0. Now write this property, please. To solve a quadratic equation by factoring, first make sure that one side of the equation is zero and factor the trinomial. Use the zero product property to write separate equations, then use the properties of equality to 
isolate the variable. Okay, listen to this example. So, 12x squared minus 2x equal x by factoring. Check your solution. Okay, the first step. We can remove x from this side to make here zero. So, you can subtract x from the two sides. So negative 2x and minus x will be minus 3x. And x minus x will be 0. Then, what is the common factor between 12x squared minus 3x? Between 12 and 3, the common factor will be 3. Because 12 equals 3 times 4. And between x squared and x, the common factor will be x. So 12x squared, we can write 12x squared, 3x times 4x. And we can write uh, negative 3x, negative 3x times 1. So as you see here, 3x common factor, take it out the parentheses, remains here 4x and remains here negative 1, equals 0. The product of two, uh, the product of two, quantity equals zero means the first one equals zero, three x equals zero, or the second one equal, or the second product equals zero, or x minus uh, one equals zero. You can solve the first equ equation. Three x equals zero means x equals zero. And if you solve the second equation, you will get x equal uh, 1 over 4. So write this example, please.
Thank <laughs> you. Listen to the second example. Solve x squared minus 6x minus 9 equal 18 by factor. The first step, try to make here 0. So we want to remove uh, 18. So you can subtract 18 from the two sides. Minus 9 plus minus 18 will be minus 27. And 18 minus 18 will be 0. Then open parentheses. What the meaning of x squared means x times x. Now we want two numbers, the sum of them negative six, and the product of them will be negative 27. The two numbers will be three and negative nine. So we can write here three and here nine. Then the product equals zero means the first product equals zero or the second product equals zero. Now we have two equations. Solve the first equation. You will get the value of X will be negative three. And when you solve the second equation, 
the value of x will be will be nine. So also I want from all to write uh, this example. Don't. Okay. Listen, please. Now, factor a terminal where A is not one. And in the previous examples, uh, we factor it when A equal one. But if A is not one, what I do in this case? This is important issues. For example, solve 3x squared plus 5x plus 15 plus 17. 
So what I do in the first step, try to remove 17 from this side to keep this side zero. So we can subtract 17 from the two sides. So 15 minus 17 will be minus 2, and here 17 minus 17 will be 0. Now, how to factor this equation, this quadratic equation? Here, as you see, the value of A will be 3. So the first step, open parenthesis. What's the meaning of 3x squared? Means 3x times x. 3x squared means 3x times x. Now, as you see here, we have 5x and here minus 2. We want two numbers, the product of them equal negative 2. Which two numbers? Negative 1 and plus 2. Negative 1 and plus 2. Now the product equals 0 means the first product equals 0. We have the first equation and the second product equals 0. The second equation solve the first equation you will get x equal 1 over 3 and solve the second equation will be x equal uh, negative 15. Write this uh, question. Solve. Solving quadratic equations by factoring special products. This is important. I To factor a squared minus b squared. If you have this form, find the square roots of a squared and b squared. Then apply the pattern. Symbols, for example, s uh, a squared minus b squared. Open parenthesis. A squared means a times a, and b squared means b times b's b. And the first parenthesis, we have the sum 
The second variant is we have reference. So this is important rule. Write this rule, please. This is important rule. This is the first important rule. The second important rule, factoring perfect square trinomials. To factor a squared plus 2ab plus b squared, find the square roots of a squared and b squared, then apply the pattern. So a squared plus 2ab plus b squared means the square root of the sum of two numbers. The square root of a squared will be a, the square root of b squared will be b, then add between them, then the sum of them of squared. So this is the second important rule. Not all quadratic equations have solutions that are real numbers. In some cases, the solutions are complex numbers of the form A plus B I where b doesn't equal zero. For example, you know that the solution of x squared equal negative four must be complex because there is no real number for which its square is negative four. If you take the square root of each side, you will get x equal to i and or negative two i. Example, solve 81 equal x squared by factoring. Check your solution. What I do at the first idea, you can take x squared to the first side. You will get 81 minus x squared equals zero. Then 81, the squared of nine, and x squared, the squared of x. So we can use the first rule here, factoring difference of square. We can use this rule. Hmm. Open parenthesis. The first parenthesis sum and the second will be difference. So nine squared means nine times nine and x squared means x times x. Now the product equals zero means the first parenthesis equals zero and we have the first equation. Then the second parenthesis equals zero means we have uh, nine minus x equals zero. If you solve the first equation, you will get x equal negative nine. And if you solve the second equation, you will get x equal nine. Right, this uh, important uh, example, please. I'm 
Take the last example. The last example in our lesson. Back to a perfect square trinomial. Listen, please. Listen. Look at this. Help some uh, alamat. Help some alamat. And then the Makalos. That's the Makalos. By Anna Hermita. A kid as any man ticket visa. Shepty had a meter. So, 16y squared minus 22y plus 23 equal 26y minus 13 by factoring shake rule solution. Okay, what I do at the first idea, we can remove the terms here in the second side to the first side. We will get 16y squared minus 48y plus 36 equals 0. What's the meaning of 16y squared? 16 means 16y squared means 4y to the power 2. And 48 means 2 times 4y times negative 6. And 36 means negative 6 squared. So we can use here the previous rule. Factor a perfect square, open parenthesis with the square. The first term, term will be 4y, and the second term will be uh, negative 6. Now, the square of the parenthesis here equals 0 means the parenthesis equals 0. You will get equation. If you solve this equation, you will get y equal 3 over 2. Uh, this is the last example in this lesson. Tomorrow, inshallah, we have practice about this uh, lesson. We want to solve it uh, together. كتبتيهم يا عذاري هذول؟ كتبتي هذا المثال؟ شما كتبتي المثال؟ وهيا سلامة في سلامة في عنا سلامة؟ 
مين تم تربط المثال وشيخة جواهر المعمري موزة مامية مريم ميرا ميرا عفوا ميرا ومريم سكويرت مريم مريم ومهر اشتركوا <تصفيق> طيب فضل ان شاء الله يا اخي فهمنا ابو كله بمشيئه الله يعني كله بمشيئه الله يعني نبدا نبدا بمشيئته وننتهي بمشيئته هيك أنا So uh, this is our video for today. Thank you for your listening. Have a nice day and see you tomorrow, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.